Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy. We are once again playing Fractured Space and today we are taking a look at the Venture which is one of the three starter ships that you will get once you start the game. Um, but before we go into details with the ship, um, I should say the game is still in alpha so everything is subject to change. So the version of the ship that we have right now might not be the one that we get in the final version of the game. Um, it most likely won't be, so um, so keep that in mind. But again, um, I still want to do a review of it, and uh, I'll probably do a proper review once the game is actually uh, launched. But for now, let's go and uh, have a look at some of the, the modules. The venture here is a refitted uh, mining ship, and it comes with as a standard weapon, as a with a mining laser that um, as almost any other ship in the game has a medium, a light and a heavy version depending on um, the rate of fire and the damage and in, in this case that's pretty much it. Um, the DPS shouldn't really vary so as I see it it's just a matter of taste which one you like at the moment. Um, as a secondary weapon it has some stonecracker shots which I guess originally would be designed to, cr to crack the asteroids so they would they would be easier to mine. But for our purpose, they are also very efficient at destroying other ships' armor, so you can use that early on in combat to actually um, destroy their armor um, and then increase the damage of your main weapon. Then it has uh, an ability to heal. Um, you can either um, have the standard one that heals 20% within 5 kilometers, so that both you and um, and your allies. Um, and this also heals armor, armor regen apparently. Then you can have one that uh, that has a longer range but heals less. Um, and the final one um, has again the, the same range as the other one. It heals uh, a bit more. Um, but it doesn't repair the uh, the armor, and this is like uh, comes in, in three pulses. But I'll show you that in a bit. Then it has missiles that just there for additional damage, and then it has a shielding buoy that it can launch. Um, that comes in the standard one with a three kilometer radius that takes one third of the damage away, and lasts for just one second. So those would be good for if you expect some high incoming damage. Then you can have one that uh, that lasts until it's killed and has a thousand hit points, um, and it will also take uh, one third of damage, but it only has a one kilometer radius. And the final one has a two kilometer radius, also takes one third of your damage away. Um, so, but it has a, a five second duration instead of just the one second on the other one. So here you trade a bit of range for duration, and here you trade a lot of range for uh, hopefully a lot more duration but um, shipyard let's go into the shooting range and have a look at some of the abilities and um, and once we've done that we'll go in and have a look at some actual gameplay and I will talk a bit about how I play this ship I'm not saying that's the right way or I'm not saying that I'm even good at the game at all <laughs> quite the opposite but um, I'll still try to make some points and see how at least I use the game. Um, so here we are, and uh, we are at the shooting range. And we can see the ship is quite heavy. Um, it's not the most maneuverable ship in the game. Um, we have our test colossus here we can fire at. This is with the heavy, uh, heavy lasers. We do around about 500 damage to it each time uh, we hit it. We will always be able to have two lasers uh, firing, regardless of the direction we're firing, which is pretty neat. So you can fire in any direction you like. Um, let's try our secondaries. We can fire that, and we can see now our damage has gone up significantly, simply because we have ripped this armor off. Um, we have missiles. 
they're pretty standard. Nothing fancy. They will also do a decent amount of damage. Um, then we have the, um, the healing ability, which we see here. It's like, a, I guess, a small shield. This one will pulse three times, the others uh, will only pulse once, as we discussed in the, the hangar. And the final one is the shielding boy, which we have right here. As you can see, the field is very, very small. So, I would say this is primarily for use in cases where you would uh, be sitting still. So you would be, be sitting still next to the boy and let the uh, let the damage reduction from the shield um, reduce your damage instead of your mobility. And simply because the ship is so heavy and uh, doesn't really maneuver well, well, I think it is a valid tactic to actually be sitting still sometimes inside the the force field here. Um, but I guess that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, maybe I should say the lasers have an optimal range of uh, 15 kilometers. Because we're hitting the top at the moment, and no, sorry, a maximum range of 15 kilometers but an optimal range of, I think, 10 kilometers. So you can see as we uh, approach, the damage slowly increases. Um, but anyway, I think we're gonna go ahead and have a look at some, uh, some actual gameplay um, to see how this ship handles in some combat. Okay, so here we are, and we're going to uh, take a look at the first uh, short clip. Um, I'm going to jump to the Alpha area, where uh, I can see there's an enemy ship uh, capping. As I land, I immediately spot the propulsion field up ahead, so I would expect there to be uh, a sentinel in here. There's also a detection buoy, but since they have a fairly long, long uh, lifetime, I still think it might be uh, a sentinel. I try to stay in cover around this, uh, this large rock um, for as long as possible. And finally, I do spot the sensor. He's already damaged a bit, um, but the sensor is a fairly high damage ship. It's a very fast ship, and he uses his maneuverability, um, and as he should, to try and outflank me. I drop my shield buoy to try and reduce the damage. He makes a bit of a misplay, I think, and going in close. He tries to escape, but flies straight into a rock, and we very quickly pull his ship apart. And there we go. This just shows the pure damage output of the ship. But when you encounter other low tier ships, you can rip them apart fairly, fairly easily. Um, not really a test of this ship's defensive ability. Um, but in the next clip, we're going to see how you can use this ship to uh, to help your your allies and to um, um, and to use some of its ability uh, both to heal yourself and your friends. So here we are. Um, the gamma area is just about to come online, I consider jumping in there. That's when I noticed that one of my allied ships is being uh, attacked and they are 2 on one so I decided to go there and help him. Also because that would threaten our base if they got that forward station. Just as I jump, one of the ships jumps to the gamma area and it's just me, a friendly uh, pioneer against this uh, Reaper. Um, a very strong ship. The Reaper, you should definitely not stay in front of it, as our pioneer, pioneer is right now. Look at the amount of damage he's taking. I see he's about to die, and I quickly turn on my heal. I was a bit early, so I didn't get the first pulse, but I got the two second pulses. And with that following death explosion, look at the amount of health he has left. If I haven't repaired him, he would definitely have been dead. In the last clip that I want to show here, um, this just shows the both a good combination of damage output and the defensive capability of the ship. I'm currently uh, alone in this uh, in this sector. There is an, uh, an enemy venture and an enemy um, sentinel. I make a bit of a misplay, it doesn't turn on my point defense and he hit me with the missile to slow me down. I'm already a fairly slow ship so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I get in close and I immediately begin to take a lot of damage. So I start my repair and I drop my shield. That stops the, the incoming damage and allows me to repair. I finish off the first venture and I begin focusing on uh, on the Sentinel. Luckily for me, 
here, this guy is a very poor shot, he just missed, missed his first salvo, that's his second salvo that he missed. He fires the missiles, I turn on my point defense and he does very little damage. Actually he does no damage with that uh, volley of missiles. I try to circle him, he's just sitting still, he's not using the mobility which really is the central strong point. And when I get back to this side where I already stripped off his armor, it doesn't take much to do a lot of damage and he's down. So we saw here in the last clip how I could use my repair ability and the shield buoy to um, to slow down the incoming damage when I was fighting 2-1-1, which gave me time to um, to take down the first ship and then begin to uh, to move around the second ship because he was simply sitting still. If that guy has been uh, been moving, um, I would probably have stayed inside my force field simply because I have no chance of catching up to a sentinel because it's so much faster than I am. It's so much more maneuverable. But when he decides to sit still and forfeit that benefit, I can use it to um, to my advantage and I could actually probably reduce damage even more instead, uh, by uh, circling him very very closely instead of sitting inside my, uh, my shield. That's my review of um, of the venture, the first of uh, of the three starter ships that you get, I'm probably going to do a review on uh, on the rest of them, and on higher tier ships uh, as I progress through the tech threes and get access to them. I hope you liked the video. Consider giving it a like down below. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to see more um, fracture space content. This has been Down to the Astronomy, and until next time, have a good one.